In this video, we talk about Dragon's possible moves. So, let's get right into it. Now, I would like to make this video as quick as possible, but I can't promise anything. I get off topic sometimes and I keep talking about a particular topic that's not related to what I'm talking about, but I'll do my best. Anyway, let's start with the reverie. It was implied by Morgans that somebody had died in the reverie. Yes, Morgans also mentioned that there was an assassination attempt. There were also <clears throat> there was also the results of the the reverie itself. But I think that those are three separate happenings or events that took place in the Marijo uh, Reverie series or arc. Right? So I think that the assassination attempt was on the Nefertari family and it's quite possible that the death was from there too but I don't think that it would be phrased as an assassination attempt if somebody or if somebody had died from from that attempt right or maybe somebody really had died from that attempt but it's not the the real target of the assassination but anyway this is all just speculation and we are all just theory crafting or theorizing what had happened back then in the reverie arc right so let's just have fun with it but for today's topic let's focus on dragon's moves we saw that dragon ivankov and betty we're all talking about Sabo and their reactions were a little bit concerning. I personally think that Sabo is still alive. Maybe he was captured. We still don't know yet. But I highly doubt that Sabo would have gotten defeated easily. Yes, Sabo may have foreshadowed all of this misfortune that happened to them. Because uh, in in the the scene where they were all talking about the mission and bring trying to bring to bring back Kuma, what? What the fuck? Sabo mentioned that this is either a success or they would all die. So that would be quite the foreshadowing if they all did. Uh, meet their end in rever the reverie and it would be such a huge loss to the revolutionary army's overall combat strength right that Sabo is the number two of the revolutionary army and the other five the, the other four that went with him were officers and probably they were at least Tobiropo level characters since we're in Wano, <laughs> right? They might be Tobiropo level characters, but definitely they're captains in their own right. Right? <laughs> so, anyway, I think that because of what had happened, Dragon would gather as much information that he can on what really happened in Marijoa. I feel like Dragon won't be doing anything too rash, especially because of their headquarters in Baltigo was recently destroyed, right? So they might still need to be rebuilding and gathering up more forces before they could do anything other than gather as much information as they could, especially with the newfound powers of the Marines. I don't think it's go it should be taken lightly if the Marines felt super comfortable abolishing the Shichibukai system. It has to be something of that caliber as well. So if the Marines were comfortable 
cutting Mihawk loose, then it should be something comparable, right? Maybe not Mihawk level exactly, but something really, really strong. Like Tobiropo level strong, right? Otherwise, why would they let go of somebody like Mihawk or somebody like Poa Hancock, right? Those are two heavy hitters that are really beneficial to the Marines if they are allied with them, right? You're not going to be called the strongest swordsman in the world if you're nothing, especially considering that the other swordsmen or the other swordsmen are... Flower Sword Vista, Zoro, those people are already very strong in their own right. And to be clearly viewed as the strongest swordsman among all of the swordsmen in the world, well, you have to be something very special, right? Personally, I think that Mihawk is Yonko level or very close to that, especially because he is able to go toe to toe with Shanks when Shanks had both of his arms intact. So I think that's more than enough proof that Mihawk is a Yonko level character. Maybe even Rayleigh can match up with Mihawk. Rayleigh in his prime versus Mihawk in his prime. We would never know because Mihawk could have taken that title somewhere along the lines when when Rayleigh had retired from pirating, right? So, that's just another possibility which is getting me off topic. So, let's go back to Dragon's moves. Now, even if they find out that Sabo, the news about Sabo's death was true, or Sabo's capture was true, they might not have enough power to pull off their revenge just yet or pull off their rescue mission just yet. Obviously, this is a heavy loss for the side of the revolutionaries, losing Sabo and a couple of other officers. So doing something rash would be very, very negative or detrimental to the revolutionary side. So I really don't believe that Dragon would be pulling off any moves like that right now. Yes, we all know that he is the father of Luffy and we've and his father is Garp and we've both we've seen both Luffy and Garp take get taken over by their emotions and make impulse decisions like that. Um but I don't think that Dragon being responsible for a whole organization would do something impu super impulsive just like Luffy and Garp did. Also another possibility is that this could all still be a lie that Morgans had told because Morgans may just, may just really want to make a great story and the Marines might need to get better, you know, a better reputation from because of the recent events or the recent shame that they got from Fujitora's actions back in Res Rosa and more, right? So it might be the Marines were trying to save face and part of the lie that Morgans had told was this scuffle with uh, Sabo and whoever it was that confronted Sabo. So, all of the revolutionaries that came with Sabo, you know, Sabo and his group could have escaped. But either way, I just think that it would be in the revolutionary army's best interest to gather as much intel as they could and then rebuild the forces that they lost gather up as much weapons as they need before they go on to execute their own rescue mission for Sabo and his group if they really need it. So 
that's all for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. I would really love to, to hear your opinion about Dragon's possible moves down at the comments section below. Please do leave a like on the video and subscribe to the channel so it could grow. I would really appreciate that. And as always, stay safe. Peace.